This fish crushes its prey with its tongue, not its jaws, its tongue. Meet the Arapaima, Amazon River giant and certified prehistoric unit, up to 10 feet long, armor plated, rocking the wildest mouth hardware you've never seen. Unlike most fish, its tongue isn't soft. It's a rough, bony slab. Think natural knuckle duster, studded with tiny tooth-like projections. The roof of its mouth, also lined with hard abrasive pads. When the arapaima bites, it slams prey between tongue and palate, like a built-in mortar and pestle, grinding fish, crushing crustaceans, even unlucky birds into swallowable pieces. Now the setup, Arapaima are ambush hunters. They glide up, open that massive mouth and snap. Instant vacuum. Water and prey get sucked in. Then the tongue does the dirty work. Press, crush, scrape. No chewing, just pure pressure. That tongue bone has a name, the glossohyle. It's tough, laced with denticles, little tooth nubs that act like sandpaper. Against the roof's bony pads, it's a conveyor belt of doom. Bonus weirdness, Arapaima breathe air. Their swim bladder works like a lung, so they surface every few minutes with a booming gulp. Miss those gulps, and they can actually drown. Yes, a fish that can drown. Armour? Their scales are composite shields, hard outer layer. Flexible inner layers, so piranhas bounce off like thrown peas. Why the hardcore tongue? In murky water, you can't be picky. Crushing power turns slippery, spiny, bony meals into easy calories fast, before anything fights back or escapes. Picture it, a silent shadow, a vacuum snap, and a tongue strong enough to pulp dinner against the skull. The arapaima doesn't just bite. It grinds, nature's garbage disposal, with gills. If you ever hear that gulp on the Amazon, remember, somewhere below, a tongue is doing push-ups. Respect the river's old kings, and keep your fingers out of the buffet.